What is good, ladies and gentle niggas? It is your boy, Mumoki, coming at you with another Let's Play. And I'm sure many of you guys already know what game this is based off of this whole intro alone. So if you guys know what game this is, I ask you not to spoil it for the niggas down in the comment section below. At least not for the first episode. But we are playing none other than Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to fuck with you guys a little bit. So yeah, we're playing Banjo-Kazooie right now, and I actually had plans to play another game, but I was not able to get a hold of the game in time, so I had Banjo-Kazooie as a backup game, and as this week pretty much came up across, I kind of found myself wanting to play Banjo-Kazooie more than the other game, in fact, so here we are, about to play Banjo-Kazooie. Let's get it poppin'. With the whole hype surrounding Project Ukulele and Project Sparks, not Project Sparks, Lord knows I do not want any part of Project Sparks. They are straight duking all over Conquer. May his soul rest in peace, straight duking over Conquer. But yeah, with Project Ukulele on the whole come up and everything, the hype surrounding that whole game, I think it was pretty cool just to play Banjo Kazooie, the game that kind of got me hyped for rare games. Well, not just rare games, but 3D platformers in general, because I think 3D platformers would have to be like the genre of choice when it comes to video gaming to me. I mean, I like Mario 64, I like um, Donkey Kong 64, Conker's Bad Fur Day. These are the type of games I got me hyped. But enough about those games, let's also not spend our whole time talking on this title select screen, and let's get ahead and get into this shit, baby. Let's get into this shit. And one of the things that I actually liked about, um, on Banjo-Kazooie, or Rare Games in general, is that they have one of the most unique file select screens. Like, each um, vision, each one of them has, like, their own type of, like, setting and shit in. I think I might want to go with this one. Banjo whipping up in the lab, my nigga. He's whipping up that good shit. You know, he got to put a roof over his house somehow. <laughs> Banjo got to whip up some bills right now. He whipping up some bills right now, nigga. You know they got that fine product. People come across the land just for Banjo's product. But little did Banjo know, he wasn't the only one whipping up that good good up in his lab. No. <laughs> oh no. There's another person who's always been in Banjo's shadow when cooking up that crack. And it's this dusty bitch right here, known as Gruntilda. <laughs> Why, Grunty, any day she really takes my breath away. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, one thing about Grunty, she actually rhymes as she speaks, which is kind of hot. She is a master of bars. <laughs> you don't want to fuck around with Grunty. Oh, but this is where Grunty shit started to hit her a little hard right now. She thought she was the hot shit. She thought she was the hot shit in all the land. But little did she... Oh, she making that green crack. <laughs> oh, and now that shit gonna make Grunty a little angry. No! There ain't no bitch prettier than me! <laughs> this can't be. Sorry, Grunty. Nobody's interested in green pussy anymore. <laughs> I don't think nobody ever was interested in green pussy. That's disgusting. That's either exp that's either expired pussy or like some Namekian pussy from outer space. Nobody wants green pussy. I'm sorry to tell you that, baby girl. Nobody wants that. I'm not entirely sure people want bear pussy either, but <laughs> I know there's a whole fandom of people that like furries and shit. I mean, <laughs> to each their own, but <laughs> I'll tell you this. I'd rather take bear pussy over green pussy. That that's just me. <laughs> that's just me. <laughs> But right now, we're getting introduced to my nigga Cedric Entertainer, aka Bottles, right now. So, <laughs> we're gonna be seeing a lot of him throughout this whole game. So, he's definitely gonna be holding it down. And right now, Banjo has been whipping it up in the lab for too long. He wanted to sleep in a little bit. Hard day's work. <laughs> oh, and as you know, Banjo likes to be bagging bitches. Quite literally, bagging bitches. He got Kazoo in his backpack. She also gonna be helping us throughout this adventure. But now you see Grunty scheming. She, gonna, she about to do this drive-by real quick. Ain't no bitch prettier than me! <laughs> oh, Tootie don't even know what happened. The funny thing about Tootie is, she only shows up in this game. You would think that Tootie would show up in, like, Tui or bum-ass Banjo Nuts and Bolts. Or not even, like, Banjo Pilot on the GBA. Like, no, this is the last you see of her. Well, actually... You do get some cameos of her in Banjo-Tooie, and I think it was in a 
Cloud Cucklu, something like that, some shit like that. Um, the level that's all in the skies. I know she was like, like hinted at in that game, but bitches are doing what they typically do outside of Banjo's yard, scrapping. Oh no, she's got her. Oh, she just kidnapped your sister, Banjo. It is time to fight for your honor of your family. Banjo, wake up! Shit's going down. What? Popo's outside? What do you want, Kazooie? The Popo's here. Let's get outside, there's trouble! <laughs> and there we have it! The table has been set! Oh yeah, alright, so let's actually head back in Banjo's house because... One thing I'd like to point out is... There's only one bed in his house and... Lord knows... Where the hell Tootie's been sleeping if she's been sleeping in the same house as her brother? Why is she sleeping on a shelf? On the couch? I mean, they could probably share the same bed, but I doubt Banjo was the type of dude to allow his sister to sleep in the same bed as him. Nah, he probably let her sleep on that carpet. <laughs> but yeah, let's actually go meet up my nigga Bottles. And now I think they're like, I think this game starts to play dumb for a little bit because he tries to introduce him. But we already know Banjo knows Bottles because he has the nigga's picture over his fireplace. But. <laughs> Sure is a strange looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? Better than you. <laughs> One thing about Kazuya, like, she got a foul mouth. Honestly, if Rare wanted to, like, take it the whole conquer on, I definitely would see Kazuya as a potty mouth, but. <laughs> Kazooie is definitely that nigga. Definitely. She don't give a fuck, so. She's the type to talk reckless, and I think Banjo's the one that has his head on straight. Alright, so. Ah, that's one thing that got me kind of confused. Y'all niggas haven't seen this witch mountain in the background? Don't act like you haven't seen this mountain carving before. Alright, so press A if you want to see me teach you the basics, moves, or press B if you think you're already good. Nigga, we already good, because we handle this shit. You bet we good enough, nigga. Hmm, very well. I'll give you your basic moves. There we go. And now we meet at the top of Spiral Mountain. Alright, so I don't really need to know the basics. I mean, last time I played this game, I think it was um right before I actually headed to college. So that was like, what? Probably like four or five years ago. So I played this game. And right now we're getting introduced to the Honeycomb. Pretty much the life. And I don't know if some of you guys may have not noticed, but the Honeycomb is actually my phone's ringtone. So some of you might have heard that sound in the background of many of my other videos so yeah that's how much i like banjo kazooie i got like ringtones and shit and right now what i want to collect even though we don't have to do the tutorials um there is definitely these honeycomb um socket shits what do you call these oh i guess they will tell us he's an extra honeycomb piece there you go so collect six of them yeah so that's pretty much what we're gonna do so if we were to like if we were playing this game for the first time and wanted to know like the whole controls um bottles were pretty much um have these stations set up for us where we will kind of learn and each one of them will kind of have these honeycomb pieces that we can actually collect to increase our um our hp so what i'm gonna do is not head to the top of spiral mountain right now we're just gonna actually collect these honeycomb pieces now i'm not entirely sure if i want to do a 100 percent playthrough but i definitely probably would do like to the best of my ability and right here we're about to get a life which is a trophy and one thing about banjo kazooie a lot, every, pretty much anything talks. Anything with eyes <laughs> will pretty much talk to you, so. Oh, and I see a honeycomb right on that tree, so. We want to climb this tree. There we go. And let's collect this right here. And I'm pretty sure there should be enough honeycomb pieces in this immediate area, so we can actually have a full, um, full extra honeycomb by the time we go into Gruntilda's lair. So let's do just that. So yeah, um, let me see. Do I still have this ability? No, I don't have that ability. We're gonna. I guess we're gonna have to learn about that quickly. I mean, not quickly, but sooner or later in one one of the levels. But right now, getting familiar with the controls. I think this is his down B. Yeah, down B. Zip across. And I believe this last one should have a honeycomb in it. Yes, sir. All right, right now we got two more to find. All right, so where is these two? All right, so let's come up here. We got a whole bunch of jumping, bouncing vegetables. All right, so let's see. Is there a honeycomb up here? No, I don't think there's a honeycomb up here. Now nah, we should be good. I'm pretty sure this is like gonna be like the battlefield where you would actually fight um 
some creatures, but since it's just one right here, I think he just has a honeycomb piece, so we should be good. And I believe that last honeycomb piece, if, if I remember correctly, I mean, I kind of know this game fairly well. <laughs> I believe there should be a honeycomb piece in the water, so that's exactly where we're about. Matter of fact, let's go for a deal real quick. Now, which side is this thing on? Is it near the, the waterfall? No, I think it's near the bridge. So let me find this honeycomb piece. Man, you don't know how excited I am to actually start this game right now, because this game is definitely the shit. Definitely gonna get me hyped for Project Ukulele as I play through this game. And there we go. I think we have all of our honeycomb pieces. Not bad. And there we go. Got an extra life, so... Alright, so I think A is like normal slow pacing for more control, and B is the more faster way of swimming. I think I might stick with B along the way, but... Now that we got all of our honeycomb pieces, there's no more reason for us to be staying in this valley, so let's actually find this bridge. Where the bridge at, though? Where the bridge? I think the bridge is... Where is it? I think I see it. It's right over there. Alright. We good. Alright, now we ready to head over to Gruntilda's lair and rescue our family. This bitch can't be running around stealing our family. She gotta know. Banjo and Kazooie ain't the one to fuck with. Dynamic duo in this bitch. So yeah, well yeah, one thing I forgot to mention, like, you guys are gonna be hearing me gush over all the music in this game. I like, honestly, they make catchy ass music, man. Catchy ass music. Wait till we get to, like, the first level two. Alright, so top of the mountain, my nigga bottles with the lowdown. Alright, give me the scoop, nigga. So you ready to tackle this witch now? Damn right, nigga. Show it the way, bottle boy. Alright, cross the bridge to enter Gruntilda's lair. Look out for me inside. Good luck. All right. Yeah, so pretty much Bottles, he's going to be in pretty much every single... Well, not every single level. I think he is in every single level. And he's going to be there to help us with tips, give us new moves and shit. So anytime we see a molehill, we got to be on point to check it out and see what Bottles going to teach us. So right now she got my girl Tootie locked up. This fine contraption, I'm told, will make me young. Tootie old. All right, so she's scheming right now. Let me go. My brother will come and kick your butt, bitch. Rescue, he will not dare. There's so many dangers in my lair. Push the button. Oh, she said she tired of having a green pussy. She wants to have bear pussy. <laughs> no, actually, I think, like, in the game over screen, if you do fuck it up, you actually see what she turns into. All right, there we go. The field has been set. There he is. The fun begins. My tricks and traps will see who wins. I bitch. We gon' see who wins. Alright, so right now I want to climb to the top. I think there's something up here. Yup. Our very first... Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a picture with a piece of missing... Alright, so, piece of missing. So, we are pretty much this game. The jigsaw puzzles are going to be the collectibles that we're going to need to unlock um, new levels. And... There's other doors that we're going to need, but we'll get to those later. But for right now, we want to head over to here. And right now, we need to find a picture, yep, picture base. So basically, at these picture bases, they're going to require a certain number of jigsaw puzzles. Um, we just stand on right here. Stand on a jigsaw state podium. And I think if you press Z, we should be able to pop up all these jigsaw puzzles are enter the world yeah so bottles is pretty much filling us in i already know how the game go but this is just for the new people joining us we got the first jigsaw piece goggle boy let's go great fill it in baby all right press a and there we go and now once yeah once you um you fill up a picture you'll have access to a new level and right now that's the first one that's such an easy fit the others may just test your wit all right bitch you ain't gonna be talking shit to me this whole game right now but right now we're gonna enter in our first level mumbo's mountain nigga all right there's three new moves to learn all right yeah so bottles will pretty much tell us in each world where um how many um moves there'll be so we gotta keep our eye out for bottles and moves Hopefully there will be ha there's going to be some moves that we're going to come to know that are going to be very useful to us. I think one of them is going to be very useful. Oh, no, I think I see one niggas that we're going to have to be collecting, and that's going to be these niggas called the Jinjo. So let's collect our first one. Yippee, you saved me, nigga. Gruntilda has imprisoned 
five of us Jinjos on each world. So yeah, we gotta keep your eyes peeled for all the Jinjos. And once we get all five of them, that's gonna be a free Jigsaw piece. And I think these notes are gonna be essential for us to unlocking further into Gruntilda's lair. So we wanna keep our eyes peeled for that. Now, I believe there is a Jinjo. Oh, never mind. I thought the Jinjo was underwater, but there are notes underwater. So we wanna head down into this bitch right, y'all. But yeah, um, Banjo Kazooie was like, actually, was it my first 3D platformer? No, I think Mario 64 was my first 3D platformer. Yeah, it definitely was my first 3D platformer, and I always like wanted to find more games like this. I didn't think there was any, um, other games like Mario 64, but I was sure glad as fuck to find Banjo. I actually found this game on a whim. I think I went to like Blockbuster back when Blockbuster was still a thing. I don't think Blockbuster's really around anymore, is it? <laughs> but back when Blockbuster was a thing, um, definitely saw Banjo Kazooie in the rental, rented a game, and ever since I rented a game, I was like, yeah, nigga. I ain't giving this game back up, so that's exactly what I did. Bought the game, and I ain't let this go game sit, so. <laughs> so, honeycomb, what do you call that? Honeycomb high place. Alright, so. I want to go ahead and collect these notes. I want to at least try to find a molehill. Right now, we got one jiggy, but that jiggy was pretty much easy. I would like to find at least one or two jiggies each episode. Probably even more, depending on how much time we spend, but for the time being, my boy Banjo will be scrapping with these enemies. Took our first damage. Hopefully, I don't I don't want to end up dying too much. I think I will die eventually, probably like until we get to like the later levels, but for the time being, what we want to do is start to scrap it, so... Ooh. How do I do it? There's another move I want to do. No, that's not that move. No, not that move either. Well, I think we'll probably learn about the move later, but... <laughs> yeah, I, I keep trying to do certain moves, but I'm pretty sure those moves, we're gonna have to see bottles about them, so... Let's hurry up and try to find some of these molehills, damn it. Why the fuck these molehills are? Alright, so... Let's try to make an... <laughs> let's try to make an anthill out of a molehill. Ooh, and I think I see uh, the first of our molehills. And I think this is the move I was actually trying to do before, so... Nigga, bottles popping now. Alright, call this the Beak Buster. Jump into the air and then press Z. There you go. This is what I was—I was trying to do the ground pound on them ants, but now or I don't think those are ants. I think those are termites, actually. All right, I don't like the sound of that banjo. Get used to it, Ness girl. All right, so now that we got our little ground pound move, right, can we scrap with this nigga? There we go. Keep taking damage on these niggas. So pretty much, we got a ground pound, able to just break open all these houses, and I definitely want to collect all these notes, because the more notes we got, the easier it is good for us to be able to progress throughout this whole game. Now, I don't think we need every single note, but we are going to need a good handful of them to at least complete the game. Oh, and right now we got eggs. I don't think we have any, um, we, don't learn, we haven't learned the move to actually utilize these eggs, but we sure will learn about them fairly soon. Alright, so, let's flip up here. And right now, oh, nigga hiding in there. Alright, so let's Bop this nigga right here. Oh, and we got another one of them Jinjos. Nah, we found you, nigga. We found you, nigga. All right, so let's open this. What's in here? Oh, another life. Now, I don't think we're really gonna need that many lives. I think once I turn off my um my N64, the lives shall um reset. But we should be good. Okay, so there's ten. Jigsaw puzzles in each world. So, and with the gingers out the way, that means there's nine jigsaw puzzles that we actually have to work for to get. So, we're gonna have to do a little exploring in each world, but I ain't really complaining. When you're ready to leave this world, return to the start area and stand on the exit pad. All right. So, I think we could do a little more. I would, I would at least like to find at least one or two more jigsaw puzzles. Oh. And right now, we right in front of the pad of my nigga Mumbo. So let's go inside my nigga Mumbo's pad. Hold up, hold up. We about to get our second jigsaw puzzle right in the nigga eye. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I want to head into Mumbo's. Matter of fact, we're right here. Let's head into Mumbo's pad. My nigga, my shaman nigga Mumbo. What is good, nigga? Me Mumbo, best shaman in the game. <laughs> All right, filthy favorite one. Ew. Kazumi cannot catch her break. Everyone she comes across ends up talking shit. Alright, so we need to find tokens to help Mumble out. Alright, so right now we only have one. So we need to go search a little bit more for um, Mumble's token, so... 
Well, good thing we got introduced to my nigga. Yo, I actually, when um, Smash 64 came out, before, like, Banjo was bought by Rare, I actually wanted Banjo-Kazooie in, um, in the next Smash Bros. And I wanted Mumbo as, like, another character, because I like Mumbo. Mumbo was that nigga. But that didn't happen. We know all the story goes, but... <laughs> We gonna keep all pushing. I, yeah, I think yeah, Mumbo. Mumbo would have to be like my favorite Banjo Kazooie character in this whole game. All right, so right now we can see our what is this? Our fourth, third? What is this? We are just powered through jigsaw puzzles right now. Our third jigsaw puzzle right off the fucking bat. All right, let's talk to my nigga Bottles once again. Ooh, and I see a ginger up there. What's good, nigga? All right, the Talon Trot will let Kazooie tackle the steep slopes. All right, this this is definitely going to be in a very essential move. So I think it's start using our Z and C buttons. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. All right, so there we go. Ooh, a little bit of camera issues right there. So let's fix that camera, and I think we should be able to come up this steep hill. There we go. And I think we walk faster, and we're able to walk up steep slopes, so we should be good. We collected enough notes to break the first note door. Yeah, so we haven't got it. We haven't came across the first note door yet, but um, pretty much note doors pretty much are sealed off doors that we need to collect more notes. And once we open these doors, we're going to have access to more levels, bigger areas and shit. So right now, all we have access to is Mumbo's Mountain. And now that we have the talent trot, I think we are able to actually head to the next um next whole um, set of area but for the time being i definitely want to try to get as much notes as possible um at jigsaw puzzles as possible um, i don't think we have to do much backtracking i I, I know backtracking was definitely heavy in banjo tooie but not as bad as it is in this game this not i mean not bad as in this game this game is pretty good we're talking about like backtracking i mean we might need to backtrack here and there but oh we got our final jinjo so what is this I think that is our fourth, yep, our fourth one. Right, so let's actually collect this note right here. 70, and I, are there 100 notes in each? I'm not entirely sure how many notes are in each place, but we'll find out. All right, so we got some more notes over here. Just wanna get that final note. Can we get this shit? Damn, can we get this? There we go. And I wanna head over to the other side, because I, I definitely remember there were some notes over there. So wanna head down there. And I think we probably end off that. Should we end off the episode there? Nah. I think we'll do a little more. We might be able to do a little more. I'll, I'll, I will see about it. We'll see about it. We still need to find one more molehill. All right. So before we head down this steep ass hill, we want to make sure we're in our talent trot. There we go. There we go. Look at me collecting notes quicker than a motherfucker. All right. So let's change our camera's perspective. There we go. Change our camera perspective real quick. There we go. Our 88. What should we put us at? 90 what? All right. Oh, and I see a jigsaw puzzle. Damn, nigga. We are just plowing through all these jigsaw puzzles, baby. And I think I see another Mumbo's token. So let's actually drop down here. Yeah, I think anytime we do need to do um, backtracking, it's because... um. We need to get more tokens for Mumbo. So right now we only have two. So I don't think we're able to get every single um jigsaw puzzle right off the bat because we definitely need to go search for more Mumbo's tokens to get um to get some more um notes and shit like that. But for the time being, I think we got a pretty sizable amount. What we got? Five jigsaw puzzles, 94 notes. I think we only need. I think are there 100 notes in each level? I I ain't sure. We we'll find out eventually, but. I think we got pretty much everything that we possibly need for this our, our first episode. I mean, we got a couple notes. I ain't gonna worry about this bull. That bull is indestructible. You can't kill that bull. I've tried. <laughs> you cannot kill that nigga. But we pretty much did all we can. I think next episode, we're gonna head down over here. We got a monkey over here. And you know, <laughs> we gonna dap up that monkey next episode. So, all right, niggas, like, comment, and subscribe. And next time, we'll be in the same exact place, doing the same exact motherfucking thing. And we about to rescue our sister. Ain't nobody gonna fuck with my family. Nobody, nigga. Even if she don't got her own bed in my house, she sleep on the carpet. <laughs> Alright, niggas.